Hi, welcome to empowerplanet.com. Today we're going to have a look at the battery and how to replace it. Uh, something that anybody can do themselves uh, and I recommend you do. It, um, it will save some money, put some extra money in your pocket and uh, we can all use that right now. First, how do you know if it's your battery and not the alternator or the starter motor? Well, the best way to do it is to actually take it out, take it down to your local auto, auto parts store like uh, AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts and they will test it. Uh, most of these places will test it free of charge so I recommend you do that. There is an indicator on the stock BMW uh, battery. Um, I don't recommend you go by that. Uh, mine said that it was perfect. I took it down to to be tested and it was no good. So I recommend you definitely have it checked out and 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 not just go by that indicator. All right, let's go out and uh, have a look at where the battery is and how okay, to get it out. Okay, first of all, open up the trunk. That's where the battery is on the M3. And uh, you'll see at the in the trunk lid there is a little toolkit. That's actually all you're going to need because you only need a screwdriver to take it apart. First thing you need to do is uh, remove this, pull that out, lift it up, it comes right out. Okay, the next thing, there should be two screws here, they just come out by hand, they just screw out, make sure it's two little clips, just like that that are in there, pull that out, this pulls back, and there's your battery. Right, next, take your size 10, um, you actually need this as well, I neglected to mention that. You uh, undo these, real simple, they come up real easy, that comes off. And do the next one. Pull that off. Okay. Right here, you have a uh, stakes of Phillips head. A little screw. Undo that. All the way out. with a little plate on it. Okay. Then, on this side, there's a little breather tube. Pull that off. Just keep it to one side. Now, the stock battery also has these handles on it. Slide it that way. And pull it straight out. And that's it. Now, this one, I got it... Uh, AutoZone, it's made by Autocraft, but it's exactly the same size as the stock battery. It fits perfectly. Um, this particular number, the, the part number of this is 94RH7. Um, and that, that'll, uh, that'll, that's the perfect one that fits in. It also actually has an indicator on it, but once again, I, I don't trust the indicators. Um, as I said before. One thing you do want to do is remove that and on this side there's a little cap. Remove that because you're going to need it on your new one uh, so that you can uh, reinstall it. You push that in, click that back in. All right. Put the battery back in its spot. Make sure it's all the way this way, then you slide it that way. Okay. This, see the little hole down there, go straight back in. Just give it a good tighten up. Make sure that uh, battery's not going to go anywhere when you're driving. It's nice and tight. Don't forget the little breather tube. So 
actually a little vent. Uh, push that back on, it just slides on. Alright, and you want to reconnect your battery. Tighten it up nice and tight. Alright, this side the same thing. Okay. That's it. That's back. Make sure you put this little cover back on. There's two little, uh, little holes that it sits in. That's it. Keep it from locking out. And uh, this cover just slides right back. This little slot sits back and that's it. Uh, the only thing you will need to redo uh, which I found is actually uh, reset the, the clock. Other than that, uh, all the information uh, stays the same. Uh, one thing you do want to note, if you close your trunk without, uh, without the battery in there, uh, you're going to have to use your key to open the trunk. Obviously it's all electronic, so it doesn't work that way. Um, the newer the, the first one you could actually see where the keyhole is, the newer ones are just tucked in under the lip uh, that you use to open it up. Okay, and that's, uh, that's taking out and replacing your battery. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope it was informative and stay tuned. There will be a lot more, uh, lot more videos like this. Thank you.